in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel by the special grace of God. You are watching me in Heaven and Earth Live program, the one we used to do. Uh, by the grace of God, today we have a special message to give you. Uh, uh, a very special, it's something you cannot miss. Very important. At least to be aware of what is going on, both spiritually and the physical. Please, let's pray. Everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because you never fail us. We want to thank you because you are the Almighty God, the unchangeable changer, the King of glory. Be glorified and be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray this hour. We pray this hour. We pray at this very moment and this hour that you should come down with your glory and power. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you too. In Jesus' name. I want to tell you the, the, the uh, my message today is going to be based on the, uh, my encounter with the devil. Uh, this year, this year, January, about three or four days ago, that is around, uh, if I'm not mi making a mistake, around the 20th, yeah, 20th of January, by 11, uh, 11, 14 or 11, 15 or so, I have an encounter with the devil, physical one, and I want to tell you what it says. But before I go into that one, if I look at the scripture, it has been happening before. It's not the first time that the devil will always come against you when you know that you have a very powerful mission that God is sending you to do on earth. If you look at Matthew chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4, if you open it, I'm going to read it from here too. He said, then Jesus was led up by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he has fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterward, he was hungry. Now when the tempter came, the tempter, that Satan, came to him, he said, if you are the son of God, command that this stone become bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Verse 5, he said, then the devil took him up into the holy city. The holy city. Set him on the pan pinnacle of the temple and said to him, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, he shall give his angel charge over you and in their hands they shall bear you up lest you dash your foot against a soul jesus said to him it is written again you shall not tempt the lord your god verse 8 again the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdom of the world and their glory and he said to him, all these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God, and in him only you shall serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angel came and ministered to him. Now, in this particular page, in this particular uh, 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 chapter and uh, chapter 4, it, it speaks to us how the devil tempted Jesus Christ. This is not the first time he has been coming to tempt the children of God. This is not the first time he has been coming to speak and tempt them. As I've told you before, that Satan has summoned me into his court several times. Several times. <laughs> several times. The first time I see him summon me for the first time, 
was the time I was going, I was doing my 100 days fasting and prayer with NIVG. So we, 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 in that NIVG, we, we target most of our prayer against the kingdom of darkness. You will not believe it. The devil was very hungry and he saw me. The first one is the angel took me there. The second time he saw me. After that time, he has been calling meeting over my life. Before that time, when I was small, according to the story my mother told me, they explained how the devil came in the form of a, a, a bell, physical one. It's not dream, it's not vision, it's not revelations. Physical bell came, big bell with a woman being held. With a woman being held. It means he's not having a bad head on his head. He's having a woman being held. So he came there and he wanted to take me because he has attached to this rally, he's not working, he has done them too. He came physically to come and take me. But with the prayer, they sent him away. The, the second time he came, the angel of God came and hide me from him. All these things are physical ones. But when I did the hundred days, I was summoned to his kingdom in second heaven, where I went there and see many secret things, which I told you then, but I'm still going to elaborate it by the special grace of God. Now, this January 20, if I'm not mistaken, around 11 p.m. in the night, he called me on phone. I have been hearing different kind of testimony, but I have not come across anyone say that Sita come to you physically. Except from Apostle Joseph, I have a who said the devil came to him physically and they fought physically and he overcome the devil. This one, I have never seen such a thing before in my life. The devil called me from phone. If you if you notice, you see that I'm not on social media for some time since December. I have been in the presence of God on the holy ground in the holy mountain. I switched off my phone. I did not come online at all. I was just praying, seeking the face of God. Concerning the people of God, concerning this year, concerning this kind of things. On the 20th of January, God gave me fully the message I told you yesterday. He gave me the full, the full message and told me that I should post this and tell the people. And he also gave me a license to come back to the Zoom and also to post on YouTube and also to post on other social media. The same day that he gave me this license, is the same day I was just going to, to the bedroom around night time, night time, around the at the time of 10, 9 o'clock. So I was taking, I want to go and take my bed before I sleep. So as I entered the bedroom to take my bed, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw the devil himself. He called a lot of meetings. If I'm talking about the local community, he called dangerous fallen angels who are falling with him in heaven. He called them. They, they filled that all. I don't know where, where the hall was. I don't know where it is. But they just showed me. I was taken there to see myself. I was not sleeping, please. I was not even praying, please. I just wanted to take my bait. And the Lord opened my eyes. He called some of me and was mentioning my name, was mentioning my name. He was making a serious meeting and angrily speaking. So God, Jesus Christ took me there and I saw it. I was like, wow. And meanwhile, anytime I see that the devil summoned me like that, like he called meeting on my behalf, oh my father, I should be expecting dangerous thing that is going to follow it. I will begin to see dangerous incident, different kind of things happening. So it's not today. I, it has been, you know, uh, it has been what I've been, you know, it's not now. You see? So when the the, 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 the devil, I saw that, I begin to pray. I begin to pray for a very long time. And in, during the prayer, I saw Jesus Christ appear to that court where they are. They fooled the whole to the extent that the only space they were in their middle was the only space they, is, that meant for people they want to summon like me. Or any pastor that they, they feel like is, is troubling their kingdom. So I saw Jesus Christ came and he scattered that meeting. 
he scattered that meeting. So, when he scattered the meeting, I, I begin to appreciate the name of God and I come back to my office. So, I was in my office, try to do some things, you know, try to do some things. When suddenly, I saw that person test me on WhatsApp. He didn't call me directly on my phone. He called me through WhatsApp. So I was unable to record it. But my wife was in my presence. You know, he was, he was, he was there. So, as he, he, he first tested me, he said, hello. So he now said, can you, are you able to recognize me? That was the first statement he first said. Are you able to recognize me? I said, I am yet to know you, sir. He didn't put any picture there. The picture he put there was a white, I don't know, white men gathering together. It's not just like that. People who are drinking and drinking at all people. That's what he put there. So I said, I'm here to recognize you. He now said, I have a question to ask you and you must answer me. Just like a command. He was speaking like a commanding something. It's not just, you know, trying to, he was commanding me speaking. He said, you must answer me. I said, who are you? No, before I say who are you, he said, he said, he said, can you answer me? What is the meaning of the camp you are doing? And I asked him, I said, who are you? He said, who am I is not the matter here. You didn't need to, you didn't need to know me. Just answer my question. Immediately, I just, I, I leave the chat. I didn't answer. I began to do other things. My intention was like, maybe there are all those attackers, you know, that used to come on social media like that. That was my first intention, maybe, you know, I just leave it, I begin to do another thing. That is how he began to call me. So when he called me, I didn't pick it at first because it, it was time, I think I was praying that time also, or I was talking to somebody, I don't know. So I called him back myself. When I shake his name, is the name he used to register was a reporter. A reporter was the name he used to register. So when I, I, I said a, a reporter, a reporter, because you know when we are still coming, then we, we was a reporter. Everybody was it then. So when we didn't know, so I know what when you say you are being a reporter, I know what it means. So and uh, I call him back in Apic. He said. This is one thing I just want. He was talking with authoritative voice, authority. He said, I want you to answer me now. Now. What is the meaning of camp you are doing? Why are you disturbing me with your camp? I said, I don't even know me. How will I be disturbing you? So why are you disturbing me with the camp? Why are you gathering only people to the camp? Tell me reasons. I, because whenever I receive calls like that and my wife is in my presence, I always put it in last speaker. My, my wife opened his mouth like this. Immediately when he was talking, my spirit, I go into the spirit of God. So the Lord told me it was Satan. Lucifer himself calling me. I said, who are you? He said, you can't know me. He said, go and ask your God to tell you who I am. Hey, I say, wow. He was shouting on phone. He was shouting and shouting. That was during the time God gave me the revelation. He said, I see the camp. What is the meaning of this camp? Why are you threatening me? I am unable to rest. This and this. He now said, opposed to Peter, Daniel. Why do you come to this earth? What is your mission? Hey. So, I got to know that when God said that it's to I know. He said, what is your mission on the earth? Who are you? I said, okay. He said, I want you to first answer me. What is the camp you are doing? Only camp you are doing. What is that? I said, I can I also ask you a question? I said, if you can answer my question, I will also answer you. He said, make a promise. I said, I would like to make a promise. It is against the scripture, the word of God to make a promise. I 
I said, the Bible say, is that that you say yes or no? Promise making is a sin. When I say that, he gets up. And he said, answer me. I said, can you, can you answer me my question too? He said, what is your question? So I was, I was trying to, I said, if you answer me, it's just, all of his words are full of proverb. He will make a proverb. He was speaking like a white man. He will be speaking like a, like a Nigerian man at the same time. He will be speaking like a white man at the same time. He will be speaking like an African man at the same time. He was speaking different kind of, the English was so different, was so fluent, was so smooth. I don't know was very smooth and this man was telling me he said i don't care you expose me to the world but the, what i care about is your explanation of the camp and i said sir i want to ask a question I said, what is it i said can you also tell me why you are disturbed by the only camp that i, 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 I we, we built why are you disturbed? What is your concern about it? He now said, uh, uh, he said, he said uh, I'm disturbed. I'm disturbed. I'm unable to rest. He said, who are you? He was telling me that. What is your mission and head? I said, you have not yet answered me. He now said, I want to ask you, is it God that asked you to do the holy camp? Or you? I said, it is God. Is it God? Ha! Ah. Whenever he's talking, I notice him, notice him making a particular uh, statement. He said, I have once been a, a pure soul like you. I have once been a pure soul like you. That is always a statement. Whenever I say something, we say, I, I have once been a pure soul like you. That statement was, I didn't understand at the, at the first. Pure soul, pure soul, pure soul. And then later got to understand that he was defined to the time he was in heaven with God. When he was still in the, in the work of God. So I remember that, I said, okay, you say, you cannot be doing, say, I am pure, I'm, I'm once a pure soul like you. I'm once a pure soul like you. I said that. I said, so he said, he said, I don't want you to do any camp anymore. Stop the camp now. I said, you are funny. I told him, I said, you are funny. No power on heaven, on, on earth, can stop the camp of God. He said, no, 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 don't talk about that. Don't get there, don't get there. He now said something. He now said, but you are disturbing with the camp. I said, yes, that is not my problem. He now said, I'm giving you an assignment. He's just talking with authoritative, with proverb. He will, he will tell me proverb that I've never heard before in my life, and we talk. Proverb that I've never heard before. We just talk. Everything about him is proverb. I said, he now said, listen to me very well. I want to give you an assignment. I want you to ask your God to tell you who is speaking with you. If you can, if he can tell you who is speaking with you. Ask me anything you want, I will give it to you. And they called the call. Ha. I laugh. I laugh with my wife. My wife was like, ha, which one is this one? I called him back. He picked. I said, What do you mean by what you are saying? That that's why you what I want. He said, I, I I said, ask your God who I am. And I will give you, if you can know who I am, ask me whatsoever you want in this world. I will give it to you. And they cut it again the second time. And I laugh again. He now come to my shati and tell me, he repeat the same statement there. He said, ask your God who I am. I will give you whatsoever you want. And I told him, I said, don't bother to wait. Because I didn't need to ask God about you. I said, in the name of Jesus Christ, leave this place. And he answered me and said, okay, and he left. So what am I trying to say is this. After he left, he doesn't end there. He doesn't end there, my dear. My dear, be, be love people. He did not end there. About one hour later, 
a, a strange wind begin to blow in the camp. This wind was so strong, so powerful. Just wind with that rain. Wind, strong wind begin to blow. It blew to the extent that it pulled the source building. He pulled it to the second because it's a very big auditorium and we make it two. So it is the same play, but like do something. I will tell you that he put the first one to rest on the second one. The wood that we used to eat, the wood cut off. I just said, me. I ran from the office and leave because I said, what? A very strong something like that he put it. Ha. So the pastors, the evangelists, the whole wake up. They were like, What is happening here? I explained to them, they were saying, Eh, that is the devil himself. I said, Don't worry, nothing will happen. It's just a threat. I went back to my office. I lied down on the bed. As I lie down, not up to five minutes. A strange bed. He entered my office, coming to my direction. He entered the room. Roof, they are roof, they are roofy too. He entered. I said, Jesus, the thing again. The next day again, he raised some people to begin to rise. Just to prove to me that he's angry but he couldn't do anything. What am I trying to say is this. This is just my encounter with the devil. Just because of this holy camp, he will rest the truth through, but he will fail. He will what? He will fail. If it is not a true camp of the living God, all these things will not happen. If it's not a true where the only saint people are gathering, it won't happen. But the devil now sees it and is very angry with it. The prayer is eating him. The worship are eating him. Everything is, is affecting him. He could not rest. And as I've told you before that a prophecy from Apostle Joseph, I have been prophesied on that same land before we even get born that a only generation is to come in there that a only generation from the whole world is to come in there and the lord told him to sanctify a particular water that any man has not come there to use and he prayed we had when they get there they were telling us the story they were telling us the story of that land where God called the holy camp, the camp of the holy saint in the old world. The only place is us. There are prophecies that have gone on on that before we are born at all. At all. They told me another prophecy that I did not tell you at all. About more than 100, I think 100 or 150 years ago. That that prophecy has come out. The prophecy was not even prophesied by a pastor. It was prophesied by an oracle. It was prophesied by an oracle. Oh, you know that in those times there, the more than 150 years or 200 years ago, there is, there is no Christianity in that time. It's the king of that place that was telling us that why you people? They prophesied about the land that that land is a very powerful place. So they left it. Nobody came there to ask that, sir, we want to pursue, we want to, mm, they left it. Because the Lord told me that he has reserved the place for the generation to come. And it's our generation, the last remnant on it. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So this is the message I want to give you by my account with the definite again, January, 20, 2023 2023 
and you have never had it before that the devil will call somebody and be, he was so full, full of confusion. He was angry. He didn't know what to do because the host of heaven has surrounded us. The Lord bless you. Please don't just go without subscribing to that channel. Subscribe to Apostle Peter Daniel and press notification button. Then share. Send to people. Let them hear about it. The Lord will help you and save you in Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. Shalom. Bye-bye.